Hey everybody, if you hadn't noticed, um, we have been missing for a while, but we have been working on this. This is the power wall that we've been building for our little office that we have in the shop that I pretty much live in. Um, anyways, um, this is going to be, if I believe, 12, 12 volts, and this is going to be 36. So what we have here, guys, hybrid system, and we're using sweet power inverters, and I'm going to show you something. Watch this little clip because I'm getting a inverter manufactured and we're going to be getting a 36 volt wind turbine slave battery charger, correct? Yes. We're getting that manufactured. We're having it branded and it's going to be Olympic power control. So look at these little pictures right quick. All right, and that is for you guys that are doing uh, wind turbines. So you can use a 48 volt wind turbine to charge a 36 volt lithium battery system that allows you in much lower wind speeds to get more power. And we have a brand new modern updated Vitomen we're gonna be doing a review on. We've got four more batteries and I've got caught up. So let's step outside and I'm gonna show you what I've been working on and why. It's a big deal. Um, and of course, um, you know, we're getting kind of held up. I had a little problem. We get held up a little bit. So me and her, we're going to step outside and show you what we're working on. All right, so I got a huge supply of these at one time, these mobile home doors, but they're insulated thermal doors, and I've installed them everywhere in the building. You're going to see that here in just a second. All right, lovely. lovely. So here's my wonder mess, and what is missing in here is the trailer. So the big 1973 Winnebago fifth wheel, very rare. You can go back to my channels and look for videos on that, and... Y'all's little donations that y'all do that buy me a coffee and Ko-Fi, that helps us do what we're doing. And it makes a more showcase ability for me to show you a lot more things that we're getting done. Now, we have this big door, pain in the butt. All the wind and rain blows in and no matter what we do, unless we enclose it, it's a pain. However, we're going to be taking out all of this on this side of the shop building and putting a better door in over here and that thing comes out. So what we have is we have, that's the laundry room in a previous video that's been added on, comes into the shop, okay? And we have another build that goes on. So this one right here is a whole lot of red iron. Now, I'm not moving as fast as I was wanting to move. Exactly, and we've been building stairs too. But we've had lots of stuff to hold us back. We've had puppies, we've had, th we've had a lot of stuff going on. But the main thing that's been going on is the fact that my father will not stop. Get over here. Hurting himself. That's not funny. He won't stop hurting himself. Well, it happens, guys. So, yeah, I... I Look um, at this, guys. Look at this. This man does not know when to stop. Dad, stop. You mean, so, um... Yeah, I got, um, somebody said something real belligerent. It's true. Somebody said something nasty to my kids, so I punched them. I'm getting a little too old to do that. All right, all of this is going on. I've got a staircase coming in right here because I've got to take this one down. And there's just, look, they just junk everywhere, guys. And we're trying to deal with this because winter is coming, rain, cold, nasties. And we need to try to get this building. Look at this, even hung tires back there on the walls trying to get this building functional so that we can do that. So the big Winnebago will come back in. It will be parked here where all the chicken food's at and all the way back here. So all of that, including these big beams, have to be removed. And that's why we're building the upper space 
over here. So and if you think about that it, is, uh, what is that? If you think about it, the tires are kind of like decoration. Yeah, the tires are like decoration, straight redneck. <laughs> so this is red iron. And then, of course, I've got red iron saddled with uh, lumber. And right now, this is just, that goes into, that goes into the shop. So that's just two layers of uh, asphalt board insulated that, um, you know, I ain't got the money for plywood yet. I'm working on it, you know, piece by piece. So you guys stay tuned. We're out here working. Um, it's not easy doing this stuff. And um, I'll be uh, out of this in Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. I can't eat Thanksgiving Day. I'm supposed to have this off of me. And um, so I've been three and a half weeks of hell. All right, you guys, y'all stay tuned. More's coming, right? Yep. Y'all be good.